Hello there. The United States Barista Championship is less than one week away at this point, which is very, very exciting. Now, for the past two months, we've been talking about all sorts of things related to this competition, whether that's being the type of milk I'm gonna be using, uh, the specific coffees I'm using, scripting, some rules, all sorts of stuff. But the final, the final frontier, if you will, that we haven't really honed in on is the signature beverage. This is gonna be pretty much my final course during my routine. It's a drink that needs to kind of encapsulate the entirety of my presentation topic. It needs to pair extremely well with the coffee I'm using. And more importantly than really any of all that, it needs to be very, very tasty. Now this drink has been in development for quite a while. And so I'm very excited today to share it with you. And let this also act as kind of an, an invitation for you to join me during this routine. Now we are gonna be live streaming my routine. It is happening on Friday the 8th, and we will be going live here on YouTube as well as Instagram and TikTok at approximately 11.30 Eastern time, which is also gonna be 8.30. Pacific time. This is in the morning. So 11.30 a.m. Eastern or 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Well, if you're going to watch my routine, uh, which I would I would love for you to join me on, you might as well be drinking something <laughs> at the same time. So today we're going to be talking about my signature beverage, how you can make it at home and how you can enjoy it here in a couple of days. So let's get started. I feel like I should have like a chef hat or something, <laughs> but I don't. So let's just get started with the ingredients. Now there is one ingredient for this drink that you will need to prep ahead of time if you're gonna be following along at home. So let's get started with that first. The ingredient we're prepping ahead of time is a lime oleosaccharum. Now oleosaccharum is essentially like a really thick syrup that is pretty much just citrus oil of whatever type you like and cane sugar. So the citrus we're using today, lime, and the sugar we have, just a white cane sugar. Now this process is a little bit laborious because in order to get to the citrus oil, we need to we need to peel a lot of citrus. I have two pounds of limes here, which ends up making a, a really nice amount of oleosaccharum at the end, usually enough for, I'd say about three batches of our signature beverage. So now when you're peeling your limes, you're gonna wanna be pretty careful just to get like the, the top peel. We wanna avoid getting this kind of white like pith stuff. This stuff is pretty bitter, but all that nice citrus oil is locked up here. So do nice little, nice little sheets just like that. And we're gonna toss it right in there. And then you're just gonna keep doing this over and over and over again <laughs> until you have peeled approximately two pounds of limes. A word of caution during this, limes are very small. So be very careful of your fingers while you are peeling. I will say that I've done my fair share of uh, skin losing during my, my many times of making this, this recipe. All right, once you are all done zesting and peeling your limes, you will just have a lot of uh, little naked limes left over. So don't throw these away. These are still very good. Uh, just save them in some sort of sealed bag. You can put them in your fridge and you can use these for whatever you want afterwards. So don't waste these. These are still good to go. Now, oleosaccharum is only two ingredients. It's, it's our zest and it is also our sugar. And the ratio that I have chosen to do for my recipe is a one-to-one -one ratio. So I have approximately 55 grams of lime zest right here. Just gonna knock that out. And we're gonna have uh, 55 grams of then our cane sugar. 55 grams in. Then I'm just gonna plop my limes right back in there. And then I've got a Ziploc bag right here. I'm just gonna transfer two ingredients right in here. And this is where these two ingredients are gonna live for a while. Now, if you wanna speed up the process uh, of making this oleosaccharum, which I do recommend, this is what I've been doing, there's a little trick you can do. You can just kind of marry these two ingredients together a little bit. Just do some like some light massaging. And if you have a muddler, uh, which is something people use frequently in cocktails to break down fruits or to kind of express uh, different citrus oils, you can use a muddler as well but just kind of make sure those those lime peels are getting getting all coated and all friendly with the sugar now once you are all done with that just want to make sure you have pulled out as much excess air out as possible and then this gets to go sit in your refrigerator for about eight hours I usually prep this in the evening and then it's ready to go by the morning okay but because this is YouTube and I can use magic we have a batch already <laughs> pre-made that has been sitting in the fridge overnight this is what should happen as you can see we have a lot more liquid in here than we did before you can see some of that sugar has really started to break down. And we have kind of this thick, like syrupy stuff just sitting 
at the bottom. That is gonna be our oleosaccharum. So all we have to do now is strain out our lime peel and we'll have a nice thick, sweet tart syrup to make. Pretty much all you have to do is put that through some sort of like strainer or fine sieve, let it sit for a little bit and then all that delicious like syrupy stuff will just drip to the bottom. Once you're done with that, you should have something that looks kind of like that. Nicely portioned out, delicious and tart and limey and sugary and ready to use. This is our first ingredient. And in fact, that's pretty much the only ingredient we need to make ahead of time. The rest of everything else we're gonna be using, uh, you can purchase at a store. So let me grab those. The next thing you're gonna need is 30 grams of mango puree. It doesn't super matter what brand you use. However, I will note that please try to find a brand that has no added sugar, but mango puree. Then we're gonna need about 30 grams of orange blossom water. This stuff is very, very, very delicious. Um, it is lightly floral and citrusy and wonderful. This, if you're curious, is the brand that I'm using, but if you have another brand that you like, go ahead and use that as well. You'll need one egg, and then you'll need some jasmine green tea. Now we're gonna be using this kind of as an aromatic spritzer. So this is just jasmine green tea that I have already brewed and I just set it inside our little mister. And then of course we have our lime oleosaccharum that we already made. Mango, orange balsam water, lime oleosaccharum, and one egg. We do need some coffee though, so let's get some espresso. Now while you won't be able to use the exact same coffee that I'm gonna be using on stage, you can get very, very close. I highly, highly recommend if you're making this recipe at home, you use a coffee coffee that is very light in its roast profile and something that is pretty tropical uh, and floral in its tasting notes. So I recommend either kind of starting with maybe like a light washed Ethiopian coffee or potentially like a washed Kenyan coffee. Those would be pretty solid places to start, but just something that is a light roast uh, and leans more heavily on the tropical floral side than it does on like the more the chocolatey side. But that being said, I'm going to go get two shots of espresso pole. So that's going to be approximately uh, like 90, 96 grams of espresso in total. Two doubles. Two, two doubles, yes. <laughs> I have two double espressos that are using a coffee that has a pretty light profile, nice and light and tropical and fruity. Very, very delicious. So let's start assembling. The tools you are going to need for this assembly are going to be some sort of cocktail shaker. Now I'm using one uh, that is a little bit different than usual. This is one that kind of has, is a twist lock seal. This is going to be the straining component that slides on. Then you slip this on, you shake, and you do all that stuff. But if you have a different cocktail shaker you like using as well, that works better for you, feel free to use that too. We'll also need a blender of some sort because we are gonna be kind of emulsifying all these ingredients together before we shake them with ice. So have a, a very dangerous looking hand immersion blender right here. You'll also need some ice. I think that's it. We do have to do one thing with our egg because we are not using the entirety of the egg. We're only using the egg white. Crack your egg and then do a little, a little tradesy right here with the yolk in order to get all the egg white out. I don't really like having kind of the membrane stuff in here. Just fish any of that out as well. This egg white is gonna be used for emulsifying and texture. Uh, this is a very common technique in cocktails. Again, kind of a, a lot of these components here are taken from cocktails, but we're gonna be using this and blending it up. It's gonna be creating a really nice mouthfeel. It's gonna be very silky. It's also gonna create a little bit of like foam and froth on top of our finish drink. So we've got our shaker right here. We're going to start by adding our approximately 90 grams of espresso. Oh my gosh. There cannot be one day, can there? <laughs> Next, I'm going to be adding our 30 grams of mango puree. Then we're using approximately 25 grams of our lime oleosaccharum, 30 grams of our orange blossom water, And finally, our lovely friend, the egg white. All right, now while everything in here doesn't look super appetizing, I promise, I promise it's gonna get so much better. So the first thing we have to do is now blend these ingredients together. Get the dangerous tool, insert. <laughs> And then very quickly, take it to the sink. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, do it. At, just don't, don't, you don't need to film this, do you? You don't need to tell them that this is how I am in real life. Anyways, <laughs> what we have in here now is nice and frothy and foamy and all those ingredients have come together very nicely. But at this point, it's just kind of lukewarm <laughs> and there are not a ton of coffee drinks that are served lukewarm that are very delicious. In fact, I think this would be very nice cold. It's tropical and fruity and floral, so we need ice cubes. I personally uh, like weighing out my ice cube so I can kind of control the amount of dilution that happens every single time, so.
I'm using approximately 200 grams of ice cubes. Okay, and then comes the fun part because you just seal off your shaker and then it's time to shake. I'm not an expert at this, but I have done it a lot. <laughs> so do not critique my, my shaking technique too hard. I'd say give it at least a good 30 seconds of shaking and then it's time to serve. Now this recipe right here holds approximately four servings of this drink. You might be able to drink this all yourself, but please remember that there are four shots of espresso in here, so proceed with caution is basically what I'm saying. But this final drink itself is gonna be about like a little bit more than one ounce of liquid. So we're gonna serve it in a little glass like this. And as I mentioned before, you have your jasmine tea. We're just gonna do a nice light misting. This is really um, just going to kind of coat the rim of the glass. Jasmine tea is very, very aromatic. So this is less for flavor, more about creating a really nice aroma and like sensory experience as the judges are about to sip the final drink. And then it's time to pour. Now, it's coffee, so inherently it is a, <laughs> it is a brown liquid in a cup, but this tastes so delicious. Now the flavors of this coming together, very tasty. It honestly is reminiscent of something kind of like Fruity Pebbles cereal, if you've ever had that before. It's very tropical. It has like a kind of candied lemon feel to it. And additionally, kind of on the underneath, it has a little bit of like almost a dark chocolate note. Very, very interesting. And on the nose, you have this very, very lovely like floral scent that just kind of mixes in with everything and is, it's just nice. It's really tasty. I love my signature beverage. But that being said, this is the drink I'll be serving to the judges here in several days. And I I hope it's the drink that you'll get to enjoy alongside us at home. Now, as a quick reminder and a truncated version of this recipe, here is what you will need to have for this drink. You will need 25 grams of lime oleosaccharum. You can prepare this the night before. It is one part lime peel to one part sugar, muddled together and then set in the fridge for eight hours. Then you strain out the lime peel and you have a finished syrup. You will need 30 grams of mango puree with no sugar added to it, preferably. 30 grams of orange blossom water, one egg water, White, and then finally some brewed jasmine green tea just as kind of like an aromatic spritzer because it's nice <laughs> lastly you'll have approximately 90 to 96 grams of espresso that is going to be on average two double shots of espresso then all you do is mix all your ingredients together in a shaker use a blender or an immersion blender to then emulsify everything and after that shake with ice and serve in your nicely spritzed glass with your jasmine spritzer and then you will have a very very interesting complex bowl both floral and tropical signature beverage that I'm gonna be serving on stage and you can enjoy at home. Also, this is like a little, <laughs> this is like a little like sneaky, uh, sneaky hack. If you are someone that doesn't necessarily prefer as like espresso forward drinks, because this is complex and it is very like espresso forward. So it can be a little bit bitey to some people. If you want to serve this over some sparkling water as like an espresso tonic sort of situation, it's delicious that way. So feel free to do that too. Additionally, as a reminder, I will be going live here on YouTube on this channel, as well as on my Instagram, Morgan Drinks Coffee and on TikTok at Morgan Drinks drinks coffee at approximately 11.30 a.m. Eastern time on Friday the 8th. This will be for the first round of the United States Barista Championship, and I very, very much would love for you to join me on that. But yeah. <laughs> now, right now is the day before uh, we leave, actually, so I have so much packing to do. I have so much cleaning to do, and I'm, I'm very excited and nervous, and I can't wait. It's been amazing taking you all along on this journey with me, and frankly, the journey hasn't even ended. Like, this is very much just the beginning because the big leagues are coming. The competition is around the corner, and we have have lots to do for it. So until next time, I hope you enjoy this lovely beverage. I hope you have a chance to make it at home and I hope you can enjoy it while watching the routine because that would be a lot of fun in my opinion. So I'm gonna finish packing and I will see you next time. As usual, I am Morgan Drinks Coffee. You can find me here on YouTube usually once a week and as soon as the USB-C is over, I will, I will resume all normal operations or you can find me on TikTok and Instagram pretty much every single day. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and hopefully I will see you here on Friday for a very special live stream. So have a good day, everyone.